Hi there. So today I'm going to be painting that sweatshirt that you just saw. See you later. Time lapse time. I just watched that and I started filming this video like at least a year ago and I'm just, I'm apologizing. I, I It's hard for me to watch. I, I can imagine how you feel about that, so. Yeah, but basically throughout this video, you'll see how much of a struggle it was to um, paint this thing because I know nothing about fabric paint, so I did not know that slick paint was the worst option to paint with, but you'll see that, so. <laughs> I think for like the top color stuff I'm gonna kind of leave it like that even though you can kind of see some stuff but I'll blend it out and then leave it and then we'll have this half to work on next but I'll probably do that tomorrow so bye. Okay so it's not tomorrow it's like over six months later and I have learned a lot since then. One thing is that I was using slick fabric paint and matte fabric paint can cover so much more. What I mean by that is um, I use the matte fabric paint as a base so it's like a white and then I use the slick paint as the coloring because I already have that. So I painted the mountains, filled them in nice, and then I used this candle to trace the sun so I could paint it as a good half circle. you're stuck with. Why am I so... Bye!